For thousands of people battling cancer, radiation therapy is a valuable and proven treatment option. At Penn Radiation Oncology in Philadelphia, patients have access to the full range of advanced treatments, including proton therapy, which can only be found at a handful of centers across the country. The team includes world-renowned clinicians, offering today's most advanced clinical practices, while developing the promising treatments of tomorrow. The team is also committed to providing patients and their families with compassionate care, delivered in a supportive environment. Combined, these make Penn Radiation Oncology one of the leading programs in the world. Hello, if you're watching this video, then chances are you or a loved one is considering radiation therapy. At Penn Medicine, they understand the wide range of emotions that can accompany this decision. That's why we're giving you this video tour of the average patient experience. Through this video, we'll show you some of the steps you might go through and meet key members of the team to answer some of the questions or concerns you may have. To start with, radiation therapy is the use of high-energy x-rays to treat a cancer. The radiation beam is focused very precisely toward the cancer to try to get rid of it. When you come here for treatment, you'll lie on a table and receive radiation on a regular basis. You won't taste it, you won't feel it, and you won't see it. And it won't hurt when you receive it. What's unique about Penn Medicine's Department of Radiation Oncology is that they're able to put together this advanced technology that allows them to focus the radiation beam on the cancer, combined with a very highly rated biology research program. This allows them to bring the most advanced, most innovative treatment to their patients. Radiation therapy requires significantly more preparation than options such as surgery or chemotherapy. In fact, before their first radiation treatment, patients can expect to have up to four different appointments. The first of these is a consultation. The consultation appointment will be at the Abramson Cancer Center, where radiation oncologists work side by side with medical oncologists and surgeons to develop the best possible treatment plan for each patient. So we meet the patient at their initial consultation, they get to know the nurse. Then we follow the patient during their treatment. We're at the nurse's station when they come in for their treatment. So how have your radiation treatments been going? Each radiation patient that comes in is assigned to one primary nurse. The patient and the nurse develop a trusting relationship. I think the most important role that the nurse has in radiation is education. It's important for our patients to know how to take their medications, how to manage their side effects, how to best take care of your skin during your radiation treatment. As a radiation oncology nurse, we are assigned to take care of a specific group of patients, but every patient that walks through the door is our patient. The one-on-one -on -one personal care is an important part of a patient's radiation treatment. Another benefit that's important to patients is easy access to services. Patients who come to Penn Radiation Oncology for their treatment can park for free. Parking is conveniently located right within the facility. Once parked, you can take an elevator directly to the department's waiting area. Here you'll be welcomed by a staff member who will check you in and get you to your appointment. Now, during your visit, you may see some younger patients. That's because Penn Radiation Oncology provides treatment for pediatric cancer patients with our partners at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Your next visit will be for CT simulation, the planning part of the process. You'll find that down here on the Radiation Oncology concourse level. During this appointment, high quality images are taken of your tumor site and normal structures are outlined so that your treatment can be planned. Here we are in the CT sim room with Linda, a tech, who can tell us about what happens here. Linda, what exactly is CT sim? What does it stand for? What is it used for? Uh, CT sim means CAT scan simulation. Okay. All of our radiation patients that are receiving radiation therapy get a CAT scan simulation to pinpoint the area that the physician is going to treat with radiation okay. therapy. This is the day that we would also make any necessarily immobilization devices for the patient that would be used throughout their whole treatment. And why do you use an immobilization device? The immobilization devices are for the patient to hold still for treatment. Helps them feel a little bit more comfortable that they have an aid for them to hold nice and still. Um, there are different types. If we're treating a head and neck patient or a brain patient, we would use a face mask for them 
or if we're doing pelvis, leg, or arm, we have um, different immobilization devices for them. Can you give us some of the steps that take place here? When they come in and they get their scan done, they'll lay on the table, they'll go through the scanner here. We make sure they're nice and straight, not rotated. After the scan is complete, the images are sent to our treatment planning computer. We transfer the coordinates from that into our lap laser system. Our lasers would shine on the patient, show us the exact area that the coordinates would demonstrate on the patient. That's where we would make our mark. So we do give them tattoo marks and that would be done today in this room. We put ink on the patient's skin, right where the laser shows, um, and it's permanent. It's just a little, it's not much bigger than a freckle, so it's, it's tiny. After the tattooing is complete, we'll get the patient off the table. They can change. While they are changing, I'll schedule an appointment for them to come back for their setup appointment. Once your molds have been completed and your treatment planned, you'll come in for a setup appointment. Now, this could happen in one of the linear accelerator rooms. We're here with Jerry, who's one of the techs. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Could you explain what is a setup appointment? Sure. Basically, a setup appointment is when we have our patients come in and we line them up just like we did on the first day in CT. So this is a verification process, basically. These two arms come out in which we take some images, and also from this, we take images to make sure everything lines up the way that the doctor wants it lined up. If adjustments need to be made, it would be done during this appointment. Then the next time you come in, it'll be for your actual treatment. When patients come in for their treatment at Penn Radiation Oncology, they'll find a wealth of advanced cancer-fighting technology, including linear accelerators, MRI SIM scanner, CT scanners, PET-CT, and stereotactic surgery. Patients who are approved for proton therapy will be treated in the Roberts Proton Therapy Center. From waiting rooms to changing rooms, all of the patient areas are comfortable and convenient. Jerry, what should a patient expect during a daily treatment? During a daily treatment, the expectation is that the patient lies here on the table and we set them up to the marks, the tattoo marks that they have, and we take some more verification films. We verify that everything is exactly to what was done on the first day and the setup day to make sure that everything runs smooth. After we take the verification films, then this machine will rotate and we, we will begin with the treatment process. You don't feel anything during treatment. It's just like getting an x-ray taken. The whole treatment process from start to finish is usually about 20 minutes to a half an hour. So what kind of things do you do to help people feel a little bit more comfortable when they're here? I walk them through the process. And I like to show the patients the console area where we work to let them know that we can see them, we can hear them at all times. Once they come in the room, I show them the cameras that we have around um, and the monitor. And I tell them, if you need me by any chance, just holler or wave your hand and I'll come running. Most patients receive treatment five days a week. This can take place here or at any of the several Penn Radiation Oncology Network sites located throughout the region. Each week patients will be seen by their attending physician and nurse. There's always a physician in the clinic if immediate attention is needed. On any given day, patients may also meet with one of the program's social workers who are available to help with any concerns patients might have related to their treatment. As oncology social workers, we're involved with helping patients navigate the system, helping them organize themselves, introduce them to the members of their healthcare team. We're very accessible. We go to where the patient is, helping ease their anxiety and manage their anxiety so that they can cope with what lies ahead for them. Meeting people when they start their treatment, developing a relationship with them, counseling them, helping them, seeing them finish their treatment and come back and visit. It gives me satisfaction to know that I was a part of that. From social workers to the best technology and technicians, Penn Radiation Oncology has benefited thousands of patients with their life-saving treatments. The relationship between the patient and Penn Medicine's medical personnel is unique. What I get the most from out of my job here at Penn Medicine is getting to follow patients when they come in for their follow-up visits. When they say, you know, thank you so much, you really helped me get through treatment, you made such a big difference in my care, and we see that because we see them get better, we see them flourish after treatment and go on with their daily lives. The latest technology, world-renowned clinicians, and compassionate care for their patients, that's Penn Radiation Oncology. If you have any questions, please ask a member of the Radiation Oncology team they're more than happy to help. 
You can also learn more about radiation therapy by visiting Penn's Radiation Oncology website, where you'll find helpful links, including Oncolink.com. Thanks for watching.